Hey folks, welcome to I Hard Board Games, where today I'm joined by the Sobo crew, John and Sagan, and also Sean from Flat Out Games to show us Cascadia. Hello, folks. In the voice chat. Hey, hey, hey. Jesse. <laughs> hey there. Been so, a while. Yeah, it's been a little while. Uh, if you're on YouTube, it feels like it has been a while, but on Twitch, we just did this back to back. So we're enjoying a long morning of games, and I hope you're enjoying it with us. Uh, Cascadia is about this beautiful bioregion, um, West U.S., West Canada, spanning from like Oregon all the way up to almost Alaska. It might even include Alaska. But uh, so we have a game about that environment, equally beautiful. So, Sean, tell us a little bit about Cascadia. All right. Well, actually, I just uh, just flew down to Louisiana here from... Uh... From Cascadia, virtually um, <laughs> doing uh, uh, from our our home in Seattle. Actually, a lot of the creators, the folks that worked on this game, designer, developers, uh, graphic designer, artist, everybody is actually from from Cascadia. So it's a place that's pretty close to our hearts. Um, but yeah, uh, Cascadia is a kind of abstract, puzzly tile laying game where players are going to be building out this beautiful kind of mosaic environment in front of them and they're going to be populating it with uh, various wildlife from the region so um, basically the goal of the game is to create um, sort of different spatial patterns but uh, with the different wildlife over top of the most kind of the largest most contiguous habitat corridors that they can create with the different uh, biomes so um, there's five different types of wildlife the grizzly bear the roosevelt elk the red fox, the Chinook salmon, and the red-tailed hawk. And then there's five different environments. So we have forest ecosystems, we've got mountains, rivers, uh, prairies, and wetlands. So um, those are all represented on the different tiles. So the way we play Cascadia is really simple. On our turn, we're going to be looking at this market in front of us here of four different uh, habitat tiles and um, four different wildlife tokens. And the players are going to be choosing a combination, uh, so sort of pool drafting uh, one set that they'd like to add to their environment. So let's say, you know, I like this combination of this bear and uh, wetland river tile. I would take that and draft that and add it to my environment. So at, when I'm doing that, basically I've started off with this, this trihex here on my board. Mm -hmm. And it's got one of the each of the five different environments. And I'm going to be adding this hex anywhere around that environment where I can. So there's a couple of things I'm trying to do. You'll notice that the tiles have certain wildlife that they can support. So this tile that I just got could support either a bear, a hawk, or a salmon. And uh, also it has wetlands and river ecosystems. So I might want to, say, put this down over here. Um, to extend my river ecosystem because what I'm trying to do with my different environments is just try to create the largest contiguous group that I can because at the end of the game I'm going to score one point for each uh, tile in my largest area. So a pretty simple matching puzzle there but what I'm also trying to do is put the wildlife in configurations that make the most sense. So this bear I could now place the bear on the tile I just received, or I have another tile here as part of my starting tile that will take a bear, so I could decide to place the bear there. So you're always going to basically have three open spaces that you have opportunity to place your uh, yeah. wildlife on, but you're also going to be getting a token every turn and a tile. So you you'll basically have a sort of like four choices of where you want to place that tile. Um, and you have to make sure that you have room for the wildlife that you draft, because if you don't have room for it, it just goes back into the into the wild. It it goes back into its natural habitat, so you won't be able to add that to your board. Um, so what we're trying to do with the wildlife uh, varies from game to game. Um, if you're familiar with a game like Tiny Towns, where you have a bunch of different spatial uh, goals that kind of get shuffled up and changed up each game, this game is very similar to that where the wildlife scoring cards change up. So right now we're playing with the kind of recommended starter setup for the game. So um, the five different animals score in slightly different ways. So the grizzly bear here wants to be placed into groups of two bears. And for each pair of bears we get, 
we're going to get an escalating number of points. And so those bears have to be in groups of two, and they can't be touching any other group of two bears. Hmm. So there's little diagrams on the cards that kind of help you understand what those spatial patterns are. The Roosevelt elk just want to be in straight lines up to four long. So you can get a certain number of points depending on how large those are. And those, unlike the bears, the, the elk lines could be um, could be touching one another if, if, they, if you want them to be. Um, the red fox is really interesting. It scores for each different unique type of animal surrounding it. So um, you want to just get a diversity of different animals in the spaces surrounding the fox. And each fox will score individually up to five points if it has uh, each different animal around it. And foxes can be placed next to other foxes to score one another. Um, the Chinook salmon wants to be in long salmon runs up to seven uh, salmon in a row. And the way that the salmon run works is it can kind of, just like on the diagram there, it can kind of weave back and forth, left and right. Uh, it just can't sort of double back on itself. So you can never have um, two, uh, you can never have a salmon tile touch more than two other salmon tiles, just as a general rule. No loops. And then... <laughs> And then finally, the red hawk um, just wants to be isolated. So it doesn't want to uh, be surrounded or touching any other red hawk, red tailed hawks. So um, basically, just as long as there's no other hawks in the adjacent tiles, then those are OK. And they'll score an escalating number of points for how many of them you're able to collect. So um, mm, yeah, that's the basics of how you're going to score in the game. There's one other element, and that is these um, uh, nature tokens. So you'll notice that some of these tiles, like the one, these two in the market with the bear and the fox, or the forest tiles, they only have a single type of wildlife that they can support, and those are keystone tiles. So these feature the different keystone species here. Um, if you are able to place a matching wildlife onto this tile, once you have it in your um, environment, you're going to collect one of these nature tokens. And there's a little symbol on there to remind you to grab a nature token. And what these nature tokens do is, first and foremost, they, they can be worth a point at the end of the game uh, for every one that you have. But they're also helpful because they do give you the ability to uh, manipulate the draft a little bit if you want to spend them. So the first thing you can do with them is that you can wipe any number of wildlife tokens from the from the market and replace them with uh, tokens from the bag. So if you're really looking forward to getting a certain uh, type of wildlife and it's not out there, you could try to wipe the market and get a better combination. The second thing you can do is if you spend a wildlife token or a nature token is you could choose to break the rules of the draft. So you could say, take this tile, but instead of taking this fox, you could actually take the bear that goes on it and say, I'm just gonna take those two. Um, so that's another way that you can um, use those nature tokens. And Fantastic. I think that is pretty much all there is to it. We're going to play through, um, I think it's 20, yeah, 20 rounds. Um, and then whoever has, and then we're going to cal calculate all our scores from all the different wildlife types and all the different habitat types. I will mention one other thing about the habitats is that there will be a bonus of three points for the player who can get the largest of each habitat. So if you have the largest mm -hmm. forest area, you'll get an additional three points. So there's a little bit of competition between the players to try to, um, for each of the different five, five different uh, habitat types. All right. Cool. Any play, any points for uh, second or third for the largest uh, habitat? Yes, uh, it's one point for second, uh, and then no points after that. So if two players tie for first, you'll each get two points. Got it. Got it. Got it. So um, just to make sure I've got the scoring overview right, it is the scoring from the cards that can vary game to game. You get a point per tile in your largest region of each contiguous region within your area. If you have the largest region of any area um, amongst all the players, then you get three additional bonus points for that, or one for second place. Mm -hmm. And then and you I... get one point oh, for ahead, the. Uh, you get one point for the um, bonus tokens. I forgot what you call those. The nature tokens. Yeah, the nature tokens. Yeah, if you have any leftovers, you'll get a point for each of those. Got it. Sounds good. 
Yeah, I think that's everything. Very cool. All right, well, the last person to see any of the wildlife featured here uh, is the person who goes first, so. I think that's all of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, we yeah, we in just Louisiana. Oh, uh, uh, I, I, I love the fact that we're getting, uh, you know, two uh, kind of geographic nature based. Um, <laughs> you know, we just, just spent, we got the frogs in rain and now we immediately go Pacific Northwest. Um, yeah. <laughs> where, you know, the last there time I saw an elk was years ago. Yeah, so I haven't been to the Pacific be... Northwest, so I haven't seen any of these. So probably Sean. I guess it's you, lost. Sean. I think yeah. it's you, okay. Sean. Okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll lead us off then. In there you case. go. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think I'm going to try out this salmon right here. So go down, throw the salmon over here and rotate this around just like Makes that sense. nice all right and then get a new one of these a new one of these all right i guess that would be me next then if we're going in uh in order here yes um yeah. so here's a question about the uh the elk tile um, since the elk are scoring for straight lines, can you use the same elk to score in two separate lines that are intersecting? You cannot. You can. There's no okay. sort of overlap there, so you'll have to Got define it. which lines or which one, which line it's in at the end of the game. I see. I see. All right. Um, looking at what I've got going here, I think I will go ahead and take what just came out, and uh, we're gonna go for mountain to mountain river to river and uh we'll plop the salmon down right here there you go and you get a nature token for that since that's a keystone excellent and i think we kick it to jesse all right let's see what's new after the requisite amount of online fiddly cleanup right right <laughs> um Let's go with uh, let's go with this combo here. Not particularly crazy about it, but maybe I can make it work later. We'll put this bear. You can never have too many bears. So. Yeah, I like the bears. Let's put them up here. And that's my turn. Oh, I also forgot to mention if it, if ever there are three of the same wildlife in the in the market. Uh, the player can choose to wipe those uh, with a free action if they would like to see some different wildlife. Um, and if there are ever four, then overpopulation happens and they all, all four of them go back in the bag and they get reset. So, okay. All right. All right. I'm going to take the fox and the forest. Put <laughs> it's Mr. a different game. Different game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Touche. And we'll put Mr. Bear or Mr. Forest here. That was a good game. Cool. Back to red. Go with this one. Get my I got Keystone. my this is this is the real fox in the forest tile. Yeah. Right <laughs> um I'll throw that right there. Nice big forest going. And I get a keystone, so I get a nature token. All right. My oh, option. Bear. Yeah, I think uh, I don't love the way most of those tiles are, but I think I'll go ahead and grab. Um... Hmm. OK, I'm going to go ahead and cash in this nature token, I think. And uh, mm -hmm. so that way I can take this tile along with uh, this animal. Is that how that that goes? Yep, uh, exactly. All right, so I'll put him down right here. And then the fox will go in the fox spot right there. Are there um equal number of each type of animal? Yep. Yeah, there's okay. 20 of each. The hawks are just hiding. 
The hawks, hawks are, are hiding. hiding. All right. Me. Let's choose this one in the second position. Put that like so, and let's place you here. My oh my, it is keystone. So he gets a nature token. Get you yep. being oh, fancy yes. your nature, your fancy nature token. Well, you had one. Oh, yeah. You squandered it. No, or spent it. <laughs> All right, so I, we'll I had uh, the op had the selection of every <laughs> tile being basically the same. So <laughs> it was a good time All to right, do it. Well, we're gonna put the bear in the forest, and then we get a nature token, right? Yeah, correct. It's a key. And then I think that's the direction I want him to be. Oh boy, we'll give that All a those shot. Elk. So many elk. All those elk. Should I release them to the wild? Hmm. <laughs> One might even oh. say too many elk. Mm -hmm. Too <laughs> many elk. You know what? I think I can probably make this fox work. So maybe I'll put that put that elk decision Ooh, down the line. Yeah. We'll go with this one. And I'm going to throw it. Need to get my salmon run going here, so why not just go like this? And I'll put my fox in the forest and take another nature token. Alrighty. Another, another fox. Another fox. Oh. Hmm. So there's three elk out there. Mm -hmm. So I could wipe the board if I wanted of just the animal tokens, or does it change the habitats as well? Uh, just the animal tokens, and it would just just be the three elk tokens. So the okay. fox the fox would stay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Do I want an elk right now? I think I don't. I think I want to take the elk out. Let's uh let's, let's get those elk out That's of there. And All right, we'll three take them out. I'll put three new ones. It's gonna be. It's just going to be all foxes. Right? <laughs> if it's all foxes, I could just do it again, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, it is all. Foxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they all go back in the bag, correct? <laughs> they all go back in the bag. Yep. Okay. One two. Back. Well, uh, yeah. You know what? I think. Hmm. I think Sorry, I. Bag... Mean... Bags automatically <laughs> shuffle on Tabletopia, right? I've I've got they should, yeah. I'm mean, taking the foxes out too. I can do that, right? Yep. You can Oh, here we go again. Out. I just okay. want a hawk. Okay. Are there even hawks in this game, Tabletopia? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Well now uh, your what... your reign of terror is over. <laughs> yeah. Send any more animals back <laughs> for the wild. All right, let's go for uh, let's go for this. I'll take these, and uh, I will put the salmon here to keep my salmon running as they should, and we can I think send. Oh, I don't know exactly where I want to. Maybe 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 this way. I think that's a that's a decent spot. Yeah, that that's what I'll do. I'll lock that in. All right. Let's go with um take this one on the right here. Ocean bear. Fox up here. The elusive ocean bear. <laughs> That's me. Bears be swimming. <laughs> we got a lot uh, of flax okay. for that ocean bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People well, didn't the, like well, the ocean bear. We, got, we get more flack for the prairie salmon. There's a prairie. salmon tile that's all prairie. It's like how oh, there's a salmon on land, but you know, it's land game it's balance an, and whatnot. It's an <laughs> right. adventurous salmon. All right, so I don't think I need that many bears right now. So let's see if we can. Uh, oh, it's only bears. Let's 
see if we can find the elusive hawks. How bare you? If you were playing with uh, the d designer Randy and one of the other publisher developers, Molly, you would not have ever had a chance to wipe the bears because they're just <laughs> bear hungry. Bear crazy. <laughs> oh man, all the salmon coming out. Wiping out the salmon too, Look huh? That. Well, now you're going to get some foxes. There yeah, <laughs> back to foxes. You get a fox keystone combo there. That's pretty pretty awesome. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. It's only if I place a bear onto the ocean. There's I have not seen no, one. As soon as I wonder. fill it up, I'll get it. My I, fox went up here, though. Very suspicious. Yeah. Um, thanks for looking out, because I will miss that. <laughs> all right. I think I am going to take the bear that I wiped. <laughs> We're going to get a hawk and... now. I feel it. I feel it. Nope. It's a bear. And then I need to figure out where I'm putting this. I think that... Uh... We're playing a, a different game now. We're playing a deduction game to try to figure out who stole all the hawks. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if there's hawks here. I... Hmm. It's a tempting keystone fox, but I think maybe it's time to get in the bear game and to also, like everyone else, continue to wait for hawks. <laughs> That's a pretty fun tile right there. So I will take that. I'll place it here. I'll place the bear here. Okay. Uh, I definitely want this fox. I think this is a great fox for me. It's going to go right here. It's going to make my wetland be great. Nice it's going to go on itself. Get a nature token. Mm -hmm. The foxes are increasing the diversity of the other foxes. That's right. That's, that's two. You got a already got a point on that fox from that being next to the other fox. Yep. Nature is amazing. Let's go with uh, this guy at the end here. And all of these spatial patterns are, of course, based on natural. Um, natural tendencies of these animals as well. It's very authentic. Right. <laughs> no sarcasm. <laughs> salmon salmon want to be in runs. I mean, that one that one works. And bears bears like to be in pairs. Bears bears bears, bears, bear, bears do love rhyming. And <laughs> they they structure you know their their lives just around how good of rhymes they can do. You know, <laughs> I really do like the idea that, uh, that that bears have a sense for rhyming. It's um, I think there's a there might be a different game there. <laughs> Who's up now? I believe it's you. It's me. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll take these two. It's elk time. Time, for elk. Time to get a hawk. Nope, salmon. Nope, salmon. Hmm. Beats bears. I grow more and more suspicious by the turn. I know. As do this I. Is, this is a caper. This is going to be like the new record for uh, wildlife not coming out for the first <laughs> half of the game. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, but also think about what it means for the second half of the game. There's going to be mm -hmm. nothing but hawks. They're going to be everywhere. <laughs> but hawks. A hawk if infestation. Exist, I mean, we haven't ruled out the fact that they just don't exist in the in the bag. It's true. They may have flown the coop. Okay, let's well, see. It says there's 80 tiles in the bag, and if there's 20 mm -hmm. of each animal, then we're... Math checks 20 out. hawks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I'll go with a salmon this time. Let's do this. I had my eye on that salmon. Oops. If I can figure out a way to get my mountain range connected to itself. Let's place it like this. Oops. 
well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is uh, I have a tile that I like. The bad news is I didn't find a hawk, actually. <laughs> so sorry, but I think it's about uh, bear pair time for me. So we're going to go for this tile and we're going to pop the bear down right here. And we are going to... Covering up your spaces that might also hold hawks. That's a smart play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, every space I have pretty much with a... At least every place with a bear on it's going to hold a hawk. All right, let's... Ooh, do I want to put this like that? I think I do want to put that like that. Yeah. All I like right. It. I like the new thing that came out. Let's go for that. Let's start doing the salmon run thing. We'll go up here. For diversity. More elk. You have this very beautiful ring. ring I know. <laughs> going on here. Very nice. It's natural. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to grab these two puppies. And do our elk run. Salmon wetland. <gasps> the hawk! They exist. No way. Oh, it's real. Take that at this point, right? <laughs> Somebody needs to do this. Uh, I'm never going to see on another that. hawk again. <laughs> I bet it's. I think you're right. I think it's going to be just all hawks from here on out. Well, no. I'm going to put this hawk on my keystone tile, which is fun. And then this is going to go. Where am I going to run this salmon run? Let's run it up here. Run it. There we go. All right. No hawk for me. No hawks for you. But it's okay. I will forgive the hawks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for this other bear to complete a bear pair. And uh, let's go ahead and put this. I think like that is the way to go. Actually. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it's the elusive uh, forest meadow salmon. That's right. <laughs> Those are the tastiest. Yeah. All right, I'll take that. I'm working on something here. It all hinges on if you can get a hawk or not. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up on hawks a long time ago. Uh, uh, who's up? John's up now. John's up. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. Sorry. John um, is up. I'll take this and this. Elk time. Elk time. That is a serious elk. Elk line you've got going on there. I get salmon or fox. Well, I think I could probably make this work. Let's do this one. Here, friendly foxes. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be salmon time for me. So we will uh, just go ahead and drop that right there and continue the salmon run this direction. I think you're having the same issue with foxes over here, <laughs> not being not being very diverse i'm gonna have the same issue oh i don't see it as an issue <laughs> okay I see, it as, <laughs> I see it as three points <laughs> yeah. i'm not waiting around for i'm not waiting around for elks and and uh and hawks <laughs> that aren't ever gonna come true true 
Once I have this one hawk now, I should just surround it with all the rest of my foxes so they can all score <laughs> off of it and then just build my rest of my animals all around that <laughs> ring. That sounds like a good strategy. <laughs> I think that works. I'm jumping into the hawk game. Wow, I thought he had given up on hawks and now oh, this. No. Yeah. Come on, hawks. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is, this is unprecedented. I'm going to be drowning in hawks later, so I figure I got to get ready for that. Yeah, I feel like the end of the game could see a lot of um, hawk overpopulations at this rate. <laughs> yeah. What happens if there's only hawks left in the bag? That would kind of break the game, I think. Oh. It's never happened before. <laughs> I think everything is just perma overpopulated. <laughs> yeah. so, that's. The, oh the, my! Like wildlife apocalypse, and we won't talk about that. <laughs> that happens. We're all we're all in trouble. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, that's a bear, forest bear. I could go for another bear pair over there. Bear. Wow, that's a lot of rhyming. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm going for it. I have these foxes here. Might as well put a bear next to them, right? Makes sense to me. Let's put this here. Hmm. Oh, the choices. I'm hoarding the, have... the nature tokens here. I've got four of them, so I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be able to avoid the overpopulation of hawks by. I Oops. think. Ugh. Think that I don't like this. Is what I think. Um. All right. I'm gonna keep running these salmon run those salmon go right there and i since my salmon are running in this direction i think i might have to make myself a little more room down here <laughs> mm. yeah i kind of feel the same way um yeah i'm going with salmon myself Salmon over here, but this guy's gonna go. Ooh, a hawk! Hawk time. We well, think There's we'll your do hawk, that, John. Yeah. I don't think you really have any other choice at this point. This yeah, a so we'll take the for me. hawk, and that gives me a nature token. It does. I'm at, it does I'm wow. another, another, another hawk. Another hawk. <laughs> back to back <laughs> hawk. I actually don't think I need the well. I want that tile. I actually don't mind that tile. Gosh. I um, might have to do that. Might have to do it. I'm sure that we're starting the run of hawks, though, so fear yep. not. Hawk rain begins. Oh, fox. Keystone fox. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm considering it. I am considering it. Also, oh no, that won't go there. Uh, mm, mm. All I have are fox and foxes and elk, so I think I've got to go with the keystone fox. Actually, the question is, where do I want this one? And I think the answer is right here. If I can get the tile to lay in there nicely. Hot time. Hawk yeah, time. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to need hawks anyway, eventually. I'm going to be the only one who's hawkless. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, I forgot to take a nature tile for that keystone. Um... Yeah, I guess I gotta go hawkless. That's the points on hawks. Scores for each hawk that's not adjacent. Oh, wow, that's a lot of hawks. I do have nature tokens, that's true. Those are a point. Doesn't seem... It's true. I don't mind this, this uh, tile, though. Let's go with it. Let's go with that. And the hawks go in here. Nature token. 
And we can prep for that. Oh, there he is, the plain There's salmon. The plain the salmon. salmon. <laughs> the legendary plain salmon. <laughs> Not a oh, drop also, of water there. Incorrectly identified as the desert salmon. Which, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> might think that. Our prairies look more like deserts. Although in Cascadia, <laughs> the high desert is, or the you know, we have the high desert prairie, which is a bit of a desert. Oh well, we have a bunch of elk. I just realized mm -hmm. that I've isolated this lone elk. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, elk no. in the middle of, in well, the middle two of points the there. <laughs> so two points Four. for that. I think I am going. I don't have a strong need for these elk. Sorry, elk. You can hey, soda crack. Back into. This is Cascadia. The bag that we call the wild. Let me uh, post some info about that. The bag that we call fox. the wild. Oh, now we have lots of foxes. I could probably deal with a fox, could I? Fox and a forest. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's take this. If you want to play a solo version of the game, it's posted there. Also, Little their late pledge moment. link. The, the hawk it's comes a very nice uh, tile no. lane game from Fallout. No, I should have three. One. But hey, what can what can you do? Two. Oh, you're right. Let's, uh, let's grab that. get working on another Thanks, bear Badger. bear for me, I think. Uh, hello? Three foxes. This one tile is being very difficult. Oh, that's odd. Why is it doing that? You see how it's just snapping back over when I drop it? Yeah. Huh, that's weird. That is strange. I wonder if there's okay. a way to change the properties on that tile. Well, I'll just uh, tell you, I'm kind of coming encroaching on your area a little bit, so I'll just have, <laughs> you know, pick everything up and move it a little bit and see if it, I get it in there a different go. spot. Oh, ah! Shot. Oh, happened? no! <laughs> Control Z! Control Earthquake Z. in Cascadia! <laughs> the Cascadian fault line. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> that was quite the calamity here. Oh, wow. my. What happened? All right, well, I lose. <laughs> I, I have confidence you'll be able to put it. Yeah, oh, it's I'll a be puzzle. Able to, put it, to put it back, I think. It's just... Uh, so very wrong about games. Thank you for the raid. It's snapping, and this is this is, un this is unfortunate. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the snapping to feature of these tiles. Um, is the is the thing. All right, this fox was in the middle there, I think. <laughs> this guy was off to the side because I had a four salmon run together right there. So I think my bear pair was there. My foxes were like that. This bear was going to go over here. I think I think you had that. The one. hawk tile was there. There was and one. Then... I remember near the start of the game, you connected this through. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was this one. No, no. I think uh, I think this is the way that it was because this fox was surrounded and I had three and then this oh, fox yeah. was ready. I was leaving that for a hawk. This elk was blank. <laughs> this fox was good. And I then the like bear the that I was... mountains were actually connected, though. Maybe they were. They, they, they were all connected. I just have... I'll have to rotate the tiles, but uh, um, their yeah. actual... Because that was still... Like that, that was open, and then all of these wet ones were connected. Yeah, I think that's correct enough to move on. I think I would have played that in that orientation, and I think these were probably connected like that. Okay, great, and everything cool. fits nice and together. <laughs> now it now it fits. It fits. Oh my. All okay. So just no, don't move all of your tiles at once because it <laughs> right. seems like it's going to work out, but it actually won't. All comes crashing down. We made it work out, though. All right. I think I'll take the... It's my turn, uh, Jesse? Yes. Okay. I will take the bear. Whoops. And the tile. Hopefully that ad bear. stuff went by. Thank you, so we're very wrong about games. For the rate. Oh, I can also bear. take the bear and the tile associated with the bear. Um, hmm. I don't actually mind that. I could wipe all the foxes, but I actually don't mind this tile. I need bears. 
And this is going to go here. So my it's elk strategically... salmon options. Yeah, that gives you a run some my elk choices. Your elk, elk are strategically in a line. Oh, it's a hawk. Mm -hmm. Oh man. But I'm not gonna take the hawk just you know without looking at my other options here. I think I'm gonna put these foxes back and uh, see what we get. Elk, elk, salmon. Okay. Can't actually put that salmon tile out, so that's unfortunate. I think I will go ahead and take the hawk, and we will put this, add it to the salmon run, I think, in that direction. And the hawk is going to go right here in the smack middle of everything. And we're good. Uh, I'll take that salmon. Yeah, it just wasn't matching up with my terrain the way that I needed it to. I need a salmon oh, that's actually going to go in water, or a salmon that's going to uh, live by a mountain. All of yeah, these yeah. are going to go I, down. Okay. But first... Okay, are you ready for the avalanche of hawks that <laughs> happen? Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's do that. I'll take a hawk. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna need a salmon, but the question is, do I want that keystone fox tile? Oh, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. It's a pretty juicy hawk over there, though, with the matching tile. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this here. Salmon here to get a nature token. Just hoarding all my nature tokens. Yeah, I've been doing the same. <laughs> I think that I will have to take this hawk. And nice to have up. options, yes, especially at the end. Uh, they'll put it out here. For years. That nature. Lots of bears. Um, let's wipe out the bears. I'm not ready for bears yet. <laughs> that is macabre. <laughs> let's wipe out the bears. Yep. <laughs> They'll be you. back. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't sweat it. They'll be back. Um, I think I'm going to spend one of my nature tokens. Oh, we got, a, got a plan. Got What's a strategy. That nice? Well, I just want to uh, cover it and get it right back. <laughs> fair enough. All right, John. Over to you. All right. Take the salmon and this tile here. Okay. Not too late to get in the salmon run. It's funny. I'm watching your, your stream on Facebook for Sobo. Yep. And this tile my hand is over is... It's fine on your stream, but on mine, it's quite off. Proof. Really? <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it looks to me, too. Interesting. Uh, it's far off on your screen as well? Yeah, it's far oh, off. Oh, uh, yeah, this, okay. this one over here. Yeah, that's the one. I just I just was uh, zoomed. Uh, I was zoomed in too much. It was completely off the screen. <laughs> I was trying to keep a nice, tight view of uh, of all the action. All right. Oh no, I'm not talking. Not talking about that one. Or oh, I'm talking about on your board. Uh, um, on the second row, second column. Oh, I guess oh one would of be. mine. Yeah, the oh. fox and the fox and hawk. Interesting. It shifted uh, south a bit. 
It was after that uh, earthquake. It was? Huh, weird. Okay, well. Yeah. Um, okay, it's me. I think I am actually going to grab one of these elk. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, these two here. And I think the elk is going to live here. And I think this tile is going to go up there. Hmm. I can hmm. run a salmon on it if I need to. I can put a bear on it if I decide to go that direction with things. It'll be great. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to spend a nature token and take this hawk. Put him here. Put him here. And we will take this tile. Oh boy. Salmon party. Hmm. Oops. What to do? Well, I do need a fox and I need another spot to put a bear. So that seems like a pretty good deal. I'm going to take this, put my fox here. Get yet another keystone tile that I will, or nature token that I will. A large forest. Used to use. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. Let's see here. Drop in a mountain right there. That'll uh, connect my stuff up nicely, and I can put the elk on it. Salmon Mountain. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to get the elk going right there, and also it was a move that was going to let me uh, connect my mountain sections up, so it's probably what I needed to do there. I've been kind of had those split mountain sections for a while, been neglecting them. Back to me, Jesse? No, no, it's still me. All right. Um, let's go with uh, let's finish this elk thing, I guess. Uh, how do you... Now nah, let's go salmon. I feel like that could be more things later. Ooh. Waterhawk. Waterhawk. Ooh, doggy. Say a doggy? Yeah. I don't know what uh, habitat those go in. <laughs> yeah. It's you, John. Yep, I got it. Um, I'm going to spend a nature token and grab. He's going for more hawks. Mm hmm. He's hawk crazy. Are he's, he, he's going hawk wild. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all the frog puns from uh, the previous game are just right. <laughs> they've corrupted my uh, oops, and I get another nature to mind for, for the brain. Oh, my goodness, let's see here. I suppose. I could go with this hawk. Put this down here. Put a hawk on it. It's unfortunate oh. that my salmon, my salmon don't like my foxes. They're so far away. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I'll. Uh, hmm. 
This is this is a tough one. This is a tough one for me. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this elk actually and uh put that tile down right there and line the elk up. It's a nice little triple elk line. Feel good about it. Triple elk. Fair. So you said the game ends when we have 20 uh, animals out. Is that correct? Yeah. That's what it should be. Hopefully, I think the <laughs> Tabletopia should be set up where the tiles will run out at that time. So I think oh, we have okay. like four, four or five turns left somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah, I just counted myself at 15 animals. That would be five turns left. Yep. All right, then. Let's go with... Um... Looking at those bears, foxes are nice as well. Hawks, I'm not even gonna waste my time with hawks. Let's go with the <laughs> bear. Yeah, hawks I'm, not I'm not worth my time. It isn't. Everyone else is going hawk crazy. I can't go hawk crazy too. All right. Guess I'll grab the fox. And the desert tile. He, he did it. He did the desert. <laughs> he did the desert thing. Desert, the, the, the desert. He thing. went. He went there. I went there. Oh, I had such a nice spot for that keystone salmon before, but I filled it in. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Um, another fox. I don't think I want. Fox, that's just craziness. <laughs> I kind of want that tile though. Maybe I'll split. Maybe I'll use one of my nature tokens. To take it's about this time. Tile. <laughs> it is about time. <laughs> I'm going to put this here and finally finish my bear pair. That's, bear. Funny. that's exactly the tile that I was going to take. <laughs> Are there any rule changes in solo? Someone asked in chat. Oh, so in solo, the way that the market works is kind of like a conveyor belt. So um, each turn, you're going to choose a combination. And then the one like furthest from uh, to one side, will, the tile and the token get discarded. So you're kind of having to manage for that. So as as you make decisions, if you see something out there that you want, you'll know that those tiles will eventually go away. So you're just trying to, it basically simulates kind of a two player game, but you're all, you always know which one is going to be taken. Okay. Uh, here's a question for you. So the nature tokens can shuffle the wildlife, but there's nothing that can change the terrain out. Nothing can change the terrain. That's sad. Mm. Yep. Okay. I think. I'm probably going to need to go with this then. And I will put that there and put the hawk on it. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Double bear. Same Double thing. bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't want any of this. <laughs> I guess I got to take something. Let's go with um, Keystone Salmon, I guess. Another Ocean Bear. All right, we'll do the Fox and the Plains. There's bears, 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 foxes, mm -hmm. and bears. Um, hmm. I go for another bear pair. I think. I 
guess I go for another bear pair. I'm trying to look at the board and see who's going to be second place. <laughs> Sean, Sean's got some large um, forests, mountains. Hmm. Well, I guess it's still anyone's game. Oh, I've, man. Quite, I've, got, I've built quite the Cascadian mountain range here. It's true. And I've got such a decision to make here. Because now, do I try to finish this salmon run, or do I try to get my second bear pair done? Huh. Okay. I think that the bears are going to be a little more hotly contested. I'm actually going to go ahead and spend one of my nature tokens to just get one back so I can grab this with the bear. Nice. And together they are going to live in this mountaintop lake right here. <laughs> and you I get like your it. token back. Right I didn't there. I didn't ever put it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, that's why I was saying I was going to immediately put it out just so I Gotcha, gotcha. It's right next to that nice crater. Oh, you have two crater lakes. Yeah. And those mountains right there. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. That's like you're creating like Crater Lake, Oregon, right? Mm -hmm. Out of the mountains there. It's pretty if you haven't been to Crater Lake, Oregon, it's uh it's pretty pretty wild. You need uh to get Crater Lake surrounded by smaller satellite crater lakes. Exactly. This is like this, you're making the uber meta right here <laughs> and then you've got this you've got the beginnings of like a swirl river yeah know, yeah just like jesse over here so yeah interrupted by the, the mountain but... pinwheel there's a one mountain <laughs> He's it's an overlook vortex it's where everyone goes oh, for the yeah, instagram it go, photos it goes underneath you just can't uh yeah, that's you can't it. See under the mountain ridge there. And the best is that the salmon are all on the outside, and the bear is the one in the center. <laughs> the center. Of the whole river. Yeah. He knows where the food goes. <laughs> it's uh, you know, like a sushi conveyor. It just yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Over to you, John. It's his I mean, mouse. I think yeah, that. I think that bear is probably the happiest bear in the entire game. <laughs> Pretty happy. All right, let's Should use be points for that. Token. <laughs> that bear is living the life. Use it a nature token, and we'll take uh, this hawk and this tile. Is there an expansion card where your salmon runs lose points for every bear that's next to them? <laughs> <laughs> there, you know, in the original uh, design that Randy had, it was the the bears and the salmon did have a relationship or maybe it was the hawks and the salmon like you wanted to have two salmon next to each bear or something like that mm -hmm. um so there was some slightly different scoring right right everything just wants to eat the uh <laughs> it's all about food chain management uh oh look at that a hawk keystone that's pretty fun but I don't have a place for a salmon yet, so I kind of think, kind of think that I am going to go for this hawk keystone. Right. Well, keystone's pretty right good here, and get yet another nature token to hoard. <laughs> it's going to come in handy in my last few turns. I'm going to have all the options. It's going to be great. Ten tiles left in the pile. These are the last few turns. <laughs> Yeah, I need to go ahead and grab a salmon. And I will put this uh, mountain over here. We'll keep working on that crater lake. Oh, that's a third bear. You sure you want to go there? I guess if you don't ever plan on putting a bear there, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm increasing my region size. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Trying to catch me on the mountain range, huh? I mean, I still get a point for yeah. <laughs> including it, though. Yep, that's true. That's true. Oh, look I'm, at all this I'm satisfied stuff. with, uh, you know, with playing my uh, 
you know, my multiplayer solitaire over here. You can have the biggest mountain range. (laughs) I'll start a new elk thing. Hmm. Another hawk for me, but I don't know if I have a place for a hawk. I guess I can always make a place for a hawk. You can always make a place. It comes with a place. It comes with its own home. Yeah. Starting All to right. get up there in the hawk points. Once you start to get up to five, six, seven hawks, it's a lot of points for each mm-hmm. one. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and grab them. L. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose grab this and this keystone elk right here and throw this Okay, I think my best bet here is going to be for this fox. And this tile can go up here, and this fox can go right there. I'm not crazy about any of this. Um, <laughs> sure, let's take this guy. Throw you over here. All right, Jen. All right. That's... Uh... Take the salmon. I don't know if two salmon really counts as a salmon run. <laughs> but... It's just a small or run. A, uh, that, but that's what I got. I, that's my salmon, salmon run. Salmon jump. I only have yeah. three, so. But three is definite. You know, three is mm. definitely a salmon run. I don't know. Two. Mm. Uh, it's a salmon jump. I need another bear, but I guess I don't have an option. Oh, I can put the bear down into that spot. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. This is my last turn. I think everybody has oh, one turn left. Oh. Um, I might as well just put that out there. Let me try. My, my continent like almost looks like North America in <laughs> shape. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, it's a stretch, but like <laughs> sideways, close yeah. enough. Close enough. Exactly. Okay. Let me just think here. The elk are functionally useless to me. <laughs> Fox could be cool, but I don't really have a great spot for it. And then the hawk is going to get me like three points for putting a hawk out. So, or I could risk a point to try to boost my salmon run up one more. Could be big. Mm. Yeah, you know, I think I am going. So I can, uh, if I spend this, I can just refresh any of these animal tiles that I want to. Any number of them you choose. All right. Yeah. Well, the number is going to be all of them. <laughs> all. <laughs> ah, there it is. It's all worth right. it. So we're going. Very worth it. We're going for this. And uh, the salmon is going to go right there. Nice. That is a huge wetland. Yeah. It's very cool. I'm, I was trying to keep 
the uh, the frogs and rain thing going because that's the thing I know the best is wetlands. We don't do mountains around here, <laughs> um, but wetlands we got it covered. You got some pretty good foxes going on in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my foxes aren't looking bad. Let's see. My foxes got overly cozy with bears in this game, and it didn't it wasn't wasn't for the best. <laughs> this one fox is just surrounded by four bears. Not, not the there is a there's a fox card that wants to be surrounded by the same type of animal. That would have been. Oh, good I think me. I got to go with this bear pair. That's uh, bear pair. seven points for the bear pair. Oh, I just noticed that your bears were split like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't have the tiles I needed at the time. It's okay. Yeah, I was hoping to get here. one more bear pair out, but it, you know the bear market was contested. So, <laughs> all right, over to John. Last Let's turn. You can wipe the foxes if you want. I think I'm going to do that. Let's wipe the foxes. No right. more foxes. Salmon. Got a salmon. Elk and. Elk. Elk. Gonna wipe the elk now too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. We'll just. I guess we'll just take the salmon. Okay. Get it all the way up to a salmon run of three, so it's no longer a jump. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I guess it's final scoring time. Final scoring time. So we have this fancy score pad over here. Um, and I have to admit that I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Can you just hover over and type a number? Does that work? Uh, you can scroll your mouse wheel on it. Uh, oh, cool. OK. Perfect. So right. I guess uh, who's in the blue seat? That's me. So bear points. I got two bear pairs for, what is that, 11 points? Is that correct? Okay. 11, yep. Same for All yellow. Right. 11. Got three for 19. Uh, John, how many bear pairs you got? Two for 11. Two for 11. All right. Uh, next up is elk. So I've got one elk line, elk bleat, three. So that gives me nine. John has 13 two points for very, that. Two very John, lonely have... elk. <laughs> John has 13 elk points. Is that what I heard? Yep. Yep. Sean okay. has two lonely elk for salmon points. points. Uh, six gives me 20. Three, four, seven. Sean, what are your salmon points? Just, uh, I have three salmon. But how many points is it? Uh, what is that? Seven? Seven. Seven points. Okay. Hawk. I've got what? Uh, one, two, three. Three for six. eight. I have six hawks. Wow. How many points is that? 18. 18 points from hawks. All right. Foxes. Seems good. This is going to require a bit more math for me. So right, right. This one's worth three. This one's got one, worth two, three, four for that one. One, two, three, four for that one. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Thirteen points for my foxes. Plus my math is wrong, which is possible. I think I have twelve points of foxes. All right. I also have twelve. Hmm. Okay. W. <laughs> I think I counted uh, 13 for you. Life total. John, on your so foxes? It's like a subtotal. Oh, oh, I, I understand. All right, math time. 20, 40, 61 for me. Oh, no, you're right. 12. And then mathing on this, I see 23, 30, 44, 56. For who? 
for Jesse. I'm just doing math. If, I, if uh, my math is Sean. wrong, that's why I'm doing it out in the open. Y'all can correct me. If you just trust me, then uh, feel free to, but I make no guarantees. I see 20, 41, and then an, another 30 there. So that's 71 for John, I think. Because that's 30 there. That's 20. Oh, I'm sorry, 61 for John. I like the first number better. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, cause yeah, 18 and that's 20, uh, 30, that's 20. And then it's, uh, plus 11 is uh, 61. Yeah. So, okay. Oh. So now so this, we do, uh, yeah, this, the mountain. It's just every oh. tile in our largest contiguous area of that type of tile. Yeah. So for mountains, just count up your largest area and then one point for each tile in there. Eight for me and mountains. I have ten. Oof. Okay. I have two. Yeah, and, oh, it's got two mountains. And that's gonna boost you to thirteen, right? Because the yeah, bonus points are you adding have, those here. Yeah, I'll have thirteen and you'll have uh nine. Because I got nine. Yep. plus one. Yep. Okay. Um most forests, I only have two. <laughs> Yeah, I should have focused on one. Oh my. I have three. John's got wow, so he got second place in the forests with three. You're kidding me. <laughs> should have been paying attention to that. All right, so <laughs> that actually gives you four, John. Whoa. Wow. You got a bonus point for second place. All right, the planes. I only have two. I have three. Looks like John has a lot. Uh Jesse's got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Yep. And John's got how many planes you got over there, John? Eight. Seven? Eight? Eight is what I, I see. Yeah. Eight. I don't know why we don't hear John anymore, so but So John's got eight, which goes up to eleven. And Jesse gets the bonus point. Yep. Um there. So you go up to seven. Wetlands, that's clearly me. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh. That'll bring me up to 17. Oops. So I kind of slacked on the terrain. <laughs> uh, I got five on that one. Three for me. Three for John. Three. Okay, yep. so that means Sean gets the bonus point. And then uh, water, one, two, three, four, five. I got five. Just three, three for me. I have seven. John's got seven. And Jesse, you had six? Correct. So John gets the bonus points there. That's going to be the killer. That is going to be the killer that John <laughs> uh, got the win in Rivers as well. Okay, subtotaling. I see 1335 for me. And then I see 1727, 30, uh, 39. I got for Sean. Wow. How many points did he John have for it? Uh, I didn't quite hear you, John. So what? How many points did Sean have for his tiles? Uh, 39. No, no. The, uh, um, I'm sorry, for the animals? 56. 56. It's all over here on this uh, score track yeah. on the left side. All right. So then we just add one point. Is it one point per nature token? Yeah, one point per. I have so seven. Seven. Nice. Oof. John's got... Is this your pile I... here, John? Is that three? Uh, or is that no, that's I... a discard pile? I... That's a discard. I don't have any. I spent oh, them all. Any. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so then doing actual uh, big math. 61 <laughs> plus 35 plus 2 is 98 for me. Can you just type it? You can't just type it. If you can. All right. Kind of weird. There might be a way. Uh, well, I've got a mouse wheel that can unlock and freely scroll, so I'll just, uh, I can get the high numbers quick. 
I got 98 for me. For you, I see 56 plus 39 is 80. 95 plus 7 is 102 is what I'm seeing for you. 102. Wow. Wow. Big numbers. And assuming that y'all did y'all's math right, math right, I think that takes it. Very nice. Wow. Oh, they so squeaked so... by on those nature tokens at the end. Ah. It was pretty close. We're getting beat by all the guests. <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by all the, the people who are, uh, you know, were, I've played it many times. the game a bunch of times. Yeah. yeah. I think that's reasonable. I think that's fair. <laughs> I'd like to thank my nature tokens, my <laughs> species. Yeah, yeah the, the the nature tokens. If, if my math is right and your math is right, there was five. There were five nature tokens between us. Wow. And there were four points between us. So your nature tokens did it. Yeah, slacked so, on terrain. Um, I didn't. I didn't uh, I focus missed, on that too uh, much. I missed where Jeremy a few minutes ago said, shame I missed the Kickstarter on this one. It looks awesome and similar to Planet, but with more to think about. And uh, that's kind of the vibe I was getting uh, too. You know, I was we were talking with, with Jay earlier about the uh, the merits of games that are really, really light and easy to teach. And Planet is a game that I think falls into that category, but it's kind of got the, you know, the terrain laying aspect, kind of similar to how this one does. You want to have your contiguous different- Thank you for the subs, types. BJ. Um, and obviously that one has a more kind of toy, uh, toy factor to it. Um, but uh, this one definitely has a lot more, uh, more crunch, a lot more strategic uh, thinking to, to do. Um, mm -hmm. And I really appreciate that. And there's a late pledge Isn't, available, um, which I posted in the chat. Yeah, right. Late pledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, late mm. pledge is still available in most parts of the world. We've actually just kind of we're getting our final our our manufacturing's getting wrapped up right now, so we're getting all our final freight stuff sorted. So in the U.S., you can definitely still pre-order. We've got some extra copies coming to the U.S., so uh, that's still open. A pledge, a late pledge, is still only twenty nine dollars. So you get the Kickstarter promo cards, you'll get some extra wildlife cards Ooh. with that and, and the game. So the game's going to be coming to retail uh, later this year, and it'll be at least $40. Uh, you know, we haven't set the MSRP for that yet. So if you want to get in on Cascadia, this is definitely the pre-order is kind of that time to do it for sure. Yeah, there you go. Late pledge sounds like uh, sounds like what you want if you're interested in this one. Yeah, very, very cool. cool. Very cool. Thanks for teaching us, Cascadia. I'm gonna post the uh, yeah. Thanks for thanks having for teaching me. us. That info no, there. thanks for beating us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, did, I, I, I. Sorry, sorry for sorry for all those Keystone species there. That just. Are there any but other I announcements? Your, I think your wetlands are the biggest yeah. uh, habitat I've ever seen. That's like 17 points. It's like serious. Like I love it. Like I said, you know, I just play what I know. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we just came across, we just came off of the game about the frogs and rain and the wetland. You know, it's been raining here, you know, for uh, all of, of yesterday. It's flooded outside in my yard right now. So, you know, the wetlands just felt right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural fit for that. Yeah. Um, so from Fallout Games, anything uh, coming up that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, so we, um, this fall, um, we're going to be bringing a new game called Verdant. It's about houseplants. So you're going to be, it's a, it's, a, it's a card drafting game um, where you're going to be trying to lay out, um, it's a spatial game where you're trying to lay out uh, your house with different houseplants and different uh, furniture and that sort of thing. So it's a little spatial puzzle game again. And Again, really simple to teach, um, but has kind of a lot of different layers of crunch, lots of different ways to score. And so that's kind of our, that's been our brand from Calico through Cascadia. And now Verdant is kind of the next one. That game's also got, you know, beautiful artwork by Beth Sobel. So mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you're interested in any of those, you know, if you like what you saw from Cascadia and you're interested in these kinds of games, uh, that's kind of what we're super into too. So... You can follow us on Twitter at Flat Out Games. Um, that's where they get the most up to date information. Um, or visit us at flatout.games. You can see all the games that we've got um, on our website. So yeah, lots of lots of fun and exciting stuff coming up. It's awesome. Yeah, actually, I see Jeremy said going to pre order now. So uh, there you go. Everybody, do be like Jeremy. 
<laughs> there you awesome. go. Awesome. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> well, fantastic. Um, that's it. Uh, Sobo, last call for Sobo. Um, Sagan? Yeah, same same old shout out. Sobo is coming yeah. up in September. Check out southerngamefest.com. Uh, Get your tickets. Uh, as a reminder, all proceeds from Southern Board Game Festival go to a, uh, a local community development organization that uh, works with uh, under-resourced kids in the community. They're really great. Um, it's a complete nonprofit event. So, um, you know, also, uh, if you want to check out what we're doing and keep in, uh, up to date on things, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. And uh, yeah, just uh, we'll be back next month with uh, with a different game streaming it. Uh, and uh, it'll be it'll be fun. So we'll see you all there, hopefully. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely be there. I will be streaming from there. Be a good time. Um, and like we like to do at the end of all of these, we like to raid over. And we're going to raid over to Dutch Yoda. And we'll be back tonight at 6 p.m. Central as part of the 24-hour stream. We'll be the lead-in for the Brothers Murph. We'll be playing After the Empire from Gray Fox Game Ooh, here on the table. One. Oh, yes, that's right. We played it. <laughs> you came all the way to Baton Rouge, and we played it with uh, BJ from Board mm -hmm. Game Gumbo. So we'll be playing it again. I'll just be Melissa and myself, but we'll have a good time with that. So uh, until next time, the box is closed as we say at the end of every stream have a good night everybody bye everybody